Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen at Soul Magic 99 and today I'm doing a reading Divine Masculine Thoughts versus Feelings so we're going to tap into the current energies there and see what messages come up I'm going to clarify with the tarot as usual I just want to thank everyone for watching, liking, sharing and subscribing um, please check out my card shop, there's still a sale on till the end of October um, a lot of decks are on sale right now Check out my Patreon for just $5 a month. You get extended from YouTube and you also get exclusive content on there as well. So thank you so much for that. So we'll get on with the reading. So this is the thoughts. Perfection. Forgiveness. Instinct. Abundance. Impasse, isolation, balance, mysticism, miracle, quest. I'm just going to put the light on. It seems very dingy in here today. Right, okay. We're going to clarify these with the tarot. So we've got perfection. Now, maybe your masculine is a bit of a perfectionist, or maybe he's like hard on himself, you know, expecting himself to be perfect. Uh, maybe he's like that with other people as well, but nobody is perfect and that's a very hard um, thing to live up to, to be perfect. Nobody is perfect in this world, that's why we're here. You know, we're here to learn lessons to grow and learn and our soul to grow and learn and develop as people. If we were already perfect, we wouldn't need to be on this planet. So let's have a look at that perfection, what's this about? King of Swords, so he could be somebody that's an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, somebody that's always up in their head, quite a logical thinker, so they're not in touch with their feelings, so everything's a logical thought, everything's in their head, um, a thought, and they're not in touch with their feelings about that, they could be quite a judgmental person maybe, they judge others um, in a harsh way, and then we've got forgiveness, we've got the sun, so forgiveness is about forgiving yourself and forgiving other people. So I think he's working on this right now. As I said, he's quite hard. He, his energy seems quite harsh. He expects the best of himself and of other people and nobody's perfect. But if he can allow himself to soften and forgive himself, forgive other people, he will bring in that happiness, that joy into his life because things won't seem so difficult. And then we've got instinct, <clears throat> and we've got the fall. So instinct is very much, to me, talking about your intuition, your higher self, your inner guides, you know, regard your guidance. And the fall is about taking that leap of faith. So maybe his instincts are telling him to take that leap of faith, you know, that have that um, new beginning and take that leap of faith into the unknown, you know, without knowing where you're going. Um, and that does take faith. And then we've got abundance and we've got justice. So everybody, you know, on the planet deserves to live an abundant life. It's our thoughts, our feelings that, you know, we block ourselves from this abundance. And maybe he's starting to realise this, that he wants to manifest in this abundance. But his own thoughts and feelings and actions are stopping that. So it looks like justice will be served here. Justice will come in here. So impasse is like when you're sort of stuck, you know, there's no resolution. We've got five of cups. So he could be in that energy of regret, you know, thinking over past hurts, past feelings, um, you know, missed opportunities. Um, but it's no good dwelling on things like that, really, is it? And then we've got isolation. We've got ten of cups. So I do feel for isolation, he's going within, he's going within to connect to what it is he truly does want in his life. Moving forward, he's shutting out all the distractions. And, you know, he does want this Ten of Cups in his life. He does want this um, solid, happy family life moving forward. And maybe he thought he had that once before, but it didn't work out. Then we've got balance, and we've got the devil here. 
So maybe there's some addictions going on here, you know, because he can't handle his emotions. So maybe he's turning to drink or drugs or other addictions. Um, but he needs to work on these addictions to find that balance within himself so that he doesn't have to turn to these um, substances to help him. And then we've got mysticism, we've got the hermit again. So he's going within, okay, he's going within, he's detaching from his mind and maybe getting more in touch with his intuition right now to receive that guidance moving forward, to connect with his higher self, to connect with his guides. He may be doing meditations right now. And then we've got miracle. We've got high priestess. He could see his feminine as a high priestess. He could see her as a miracle that came into his life. Somebody he didn't expect, somebody so unexpected and unusual. And he sees, you know, you in this energy. You're somebody quite mysterious. He feels you're quite powerful and magnetic. And he sees it as a miracle that you came into his life, no matter how it looks on the 3D. <clears throat> then we've got Quest here. <clears throat> got king of wands so your masculine could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius king of wands in that action energy that passionate energy driven energy they succeed they go after what they want and he's on that quest to go after what it is he wants moving forward okay he's he's going within he's finding out what it is he wants and he will go for it that's the energy i'm getting from that <clears throat> <clears throat> so what other energy is in right now? <clears throat> His thoughts. Yeah, he knows he wants a joyful life. We saw the sun come out there. He wants to live a joyful life, to live in the moment more. And he does feel that energetic connection with his feminine. And he may not understand. Maybe you stop chasing him now. And obviously if you stop chasing, he doesn't need to run. And he can feel a shift in that energy. Uh, he may not. He may have settled with someone else. Maybe um, <clears throat> he doesn't want to be challenged. He doesn't want a, a difficult life. He just wants an easy life. So some masculines could be settling right now. There could be distractions from other people in his life. This could be family members, work colleagues, other commitments that he has, um, which takes the focus off this connection. And feminines, a lot of you could have walked away from this connection because you didn't feel that the masculine was there with you in the connection or doing the work in the connection or engaging with you in any way. There could be a lot of separation here. Separation and, and lack of connection and a lack of communication. But he does miss his feminine, okay? He's feeling it even, even if he doesn't admit to it. And he does feel that connection with you in the 5D, in the astral realm. He feels that connection very much there. So he may have been getting some healing right now, doing some work on his chakras. Okay, he's, he's doing some healing work of some sort. And he's also been um, physically active. He wants to build up his um, self-esteem, his overall fitness level. And as we know, it boosts your mood as well, so it's a good thing to do. He feels that he's, you know, just starting out in life. He wants a new start, basically, and he's not sure yet which direction he's going to go in. <clears throat> but he's learned a lot, and he feels that he wants to pass on this knowledge to other people, to help other people on this journey, maybe. So some of the masculines could be feeling withered, lessened, weakened, faded right now. They're, they're going through that difficult time. So they may feel, you know, that might be why they're going within and tuning into an intuition. They do feel the feminine seductive energy. They do feel your energy very much, especially in the 5D. Um, and they want, you know, they want that with you. They want that beautiful connection with you again. They may feel the energy is intensifying, especially around the moon energies. We've got a full moon next week, the blue moon, which is going to be very strong and it's a good time to manifest. 
so they may pick up on these energies. <clears throat> when they were with you, they felt like it was home in your energy. They felt comfortable, safe, and they loved that intimate moments that you did share. So some final messages from his thoughts. We've got masculine. So he does want to be that masculine for his feminine. He does want to be the masculine that you truly deserve moving forward. And he wants to work on his balance within himself through energies of light and dark, yin and yang. Okay, so he is doing that work right now. And he wants that abundance. We saw that, you know, he wants that abundance with his feminine moving forward. You know, not just about finances, but in all areas of his life. And he does respect his feminine very much, even though it may not look like that. He does have a lot of respect for his feminine. And he wants that stability moving forward. You know, this looks like the Ace of Wands card, doesn't it? You know, he wants that stability moving forward. There's a lot of passion here. And he wants to be that stable masculine that the feminine deserves. Okay, so now we're going to get the feelings. I'm just going to pause that. Hello, we're back with the feelings of the masculine. And this is a gothic oracle, which I love the images on this. It's so dark. So we're going to clarify these because they don't have words on them. Okay, so I'll just get... Um, my intuition just picks up a message from the image. So we're just going to clarify these messages for you. So these are his feelings about his feminine. So the first card... So here we have this feminine, she looks very, very sad, like she's given up hope. She looks very forlorn, doesn't she? Very lonely, I don't know if you can see that image. And then what clarified is the Ace of Coins. So despite appearances, I feel that the masculine does want to make an offer here with the Ace of Coins. He does want to make an offer moving forward towards his feminine despite appearances. Which is confusing, I know, but that's the image I'm getting there. Wow. So again, like, the image here is like she's crying, she's submerged in the water. But to me, that's like she's cleansing. You know, she's cleansing away, you know, like you have a, a salt bath to cleanse away those negative thoughts. And you need to feel your feelings. And have a purge, you know, release those feelings, which is what she's doing here. Because you'll feel much better afterwards. And then we've got the Two of Cups. So he's definitely thinking of this. So he wants to offer his feminine his cup of love. Okay, he wants to offer that cup of love moving forward. So I feel the more releasing work you do, feminines, the, um, the more the masculine will pick up on those energies of your lightness, your feeling lighter in your energies <clears throat> and in this image as well this always talks to me about like the inner child healing work and clarifying that we have the queen of cups so again i think it's getting in touch with feelings and, and this yeah this is talking about the masculine so he is getting in touch with those feelings he's doing that inner child work right now he's doing that inner child work right now and he sees his feminine as the Queen of Cups. He sees you as somebody very in touch with their emotions and their feelings. And he sees you with that cup of love. And you may have even expressed this love to him. But at that time, he didn't accept it. He didn't feel deserving of it for whatever reason. And we've got the moon image clearly in this card again. And as I said, it's a very powerful moon next week, a full moon, a blue moon. Um, so that could be significant in this connection. So this image. So, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> he sees the feminine as such a beauty, you know, stunning in, inside and out. And he calls himself heartbreak here. I feel he calls himself heartbreak by walking away or disconnecting, whatever he did, ghosted. 
um, block in whatever he did, you know, to protect himself, as he thought, from this love, from this connection. And he ended up breaking his own heart here. So he sees you as glamorous, you know, somebody in their power, someone quite mystical. And then there's cats here. He might see you as a witchy type person, you know. These are like the familiar, aren't they, the cats. Um, with the purple here, though, to me, it's just your spirituality. He may mis confuse that in your power and your spirituality and confirming that we have the prince of the arrows which is like the prince of the page of swords <clears throat> so i feel he's watching his family very much so okay from afar he's watching you on social media seeing you grow and he's seeing you bloom into your energy okay so he's watching you right now and i don't want that to sound creepy <coughs> <coughs> And this image, again, very much is about inner child work. <clears throat> I do feel he's had to do some inner child work, or he's got to focus on that. Um, whatever happened within his childhood, you know, this, ch this child has been crying, and it's got love there, and it's like a gravestone, like the death of love. Something happened maybe in his childhood, he felt a lack of love, lack of nurturing. Um, from his caregivers, his parents, whatever it was. So he's having to do that healing work right now. And that's uh, clarified by the Three of Coins. For him to move forward in his life, to produce a new beginning, a new project, moving forward, he needs to do this healing. I'm just going to clarify that another three staves, yeah. So he's waiting for things to materialise into his world. He's trying to manifest this new beginning with his feminine, but he needs to do that healing work first. <clears throat> so this image. So the image is like somebody who's, you know, it's almost a vampire looking image, isn't it? They've got blood dripping out of their mouth, but to me, it's like somebody that's just been through battles in their life. They've been through the wars. They've been through a lot of, you know, upsets, arguments. You know, they've, they've got their arms across their chest. They're protecting their heart here. And we've got contemplation. So he's going within and he may be using music and art to help himself at this time. We've got, I don't know if there's a violin or a cello there. And he's painting a picture. And I do feel it's of his feminine. Okay, you may be a muse of some sort to your masculine here. And he's going within. He's connecting with his creative side, his sacral chakra here. Okay. Because he's done that release work or he's going to do that release work which will um, empower him and stir up his creativity once more, which is a good thing. Got this image. <clears throat> So again, she looks very thoughtful, doesn't she? We've got the moon image in the background there. So again, I do think he's going within. He's connecting to his intuition. His Her eyes look shut to me. So he's going within right now to connect to his intuition, his higher self. And we've got the Prince of Arrows here. So that's like the Knight of Swords. So there could be a message or clarity coming in. Okay, by doing this um, internal work, he could really get some clarity here moving forward. <clears throat> yeah, again, so she looks her right, she looks tired to me, very tired, exhausted. Um you know, closed off, you know, she's hold, hugging her knees to her, really eyes shut, not engaging with anyone else, because we've got the five of 
one that's why the staves <coughs> excuse my throat here um five of staves there's been battles there's been you know disagreements arguments here and you know this is from the masculine per perspective he's had enough of it he's tired of it i don't think this is necessarily with his feminine this could be other people in his life okay he's had a lot of things to deal with a lot of disharmony disagreements arguments just kind of a message on that <clears throat> king of arrows yeah so he's going to be standing in his power okay after all this arguments disagreements he's going to be back in his power he's going to know the truth of it he's going to stand there in his power and not engage in these lower energies So again, somebody looks defeated here, don't they? They're laying on the ground, okay, worn out, exhausted. That's what it looks like. And then we've got the six of coins. So, you know, after the battles, after the disagreements, the arguments, whatever was going on in his life, he needs that time of rest and recuperation, okay, because he will be coming into that King of Swords energy. And we've got the six of coins. So he's wanting a more balance in his life. He's wanting that balance of give and take. And I feel a lot of people took from him, to be honest. I think he was he was a giver in his own life with other people, not necessarily in this connection, because he didn't have any more to give, maybe, because he gave so much to other people. And he wants to be able to give more in this connection moving forward. He wants to be able to give and take in this connection. And after this time of rest and recuperation, he will be in a better position to do that. <clears throat> yeah, we've got Princess Dave. So he feels very passionate. He's got a lot of passion and he wants that passionate new beginning with his feminine moving forward. Okay, so let's get the other messages we got for him. <coughs> So how, this is how he sees his feminine right now. <clears throat> so he sees his feminine as somebody that is very understanding, very compassionate person. He sees you as someone that has that inner knowing, but it's also very ambitious and has a lot of self-confidence and he really admires that about you. As he's been watching you, even in your separation, he's seen your transformation, he's seen you change. And he's enchanted by you. He's enchanted by you. And he knows that you can see things, the future. Maybe you are a tarot reader or empath or highly intuitive or psychic. He knows that you have these gifts within you. And again, it fascinates him but scares him at the same time. He sees you as somebody who's very good at looking after themselves, um, somebody that really is protective of her own energy right now you're protecting your own energy which is a good thing <clears throat> he sees you as a leader you have those leadership qualities and you don't really take any bs from him you stand in your own power and you stand up for yourself and he likes that that you don't just kowtow to what he wants and he you know he knows that you have love in your heart for him and that you're ever hopeful and he knows that you do want a relationship um, even if it's not with him and i've just noticed there's a tiny little frog you can see it and that just reminds me of what people say you know when you're dating it's like you've got to kiss a lot of frogs <clears throat> well believe me i've kissed so many frogs i'm sick of kissing frogs to be honest <laughs> um and that you've got a lot of patience and determination so there's a lot of admiration here for his feminine so what else we got here so right now he needs that alone time he's not 100 percent sure what he wants to do moving forward okay but obviously this is a general reading so some of them do want a new beginning with their feminine they want a family life a child you know they want that new beginning <clears throat> And some want to go on regular dates to get serious with the feminine in the proper way. And they want to be romantic. For example, dance with you in the park. And they want to stay with you overnight. 
and have morning sex with you and share a coffee and toast. And some of you, they want to commit, they want to get married eventually. They want that commitment with you. And they want to go out for meals for two, just having those intimate moments together. <clears throat> and when they met you, they can't get that day out of their mind. It's really stayed in their mind. And you turn them on a lot. He wants to share his secrets with you and he wants you to share your secrets with him. He loves your laugh. He likes to be able to make you laugh as well. And he remembers that first kiss very much. It, you know, stunning kiss with him. And he wants you to know he is falling for you. And again, the romantic dinner date. So maybe, you know, if he reconnects with you, you're going to go out on a dinner date <coughs> together. This is a general reading. So sorry about my throat. So he may want to take you on a romantic dinner for two. So what else does he want to say to his feminine? I wish you were here or I was there. I wish we were together anywhere. Love and being loved is the most beautiful, crazy, unexpected, magical feeling I've ever felt. Thank you for loving me the way you do. I love you to infinity. You are the most beautiful person in the world, at least in my world. You are my whole world, my universe, my all. The thought of being with you one day is what gets me through today. My desire is to have a family with you. Would you have a baby with me? So we saw that come up as well, didn't we? I admire you. I care about you. I trust you. I respect you. I love you unconditionally. You are my true love. So this is his heart or higher self speaking to you right now. I swear you get more beautiful every day with age. You refine and blossom like fine wine. You are absolutely stunning inside and out. During our separation, our love has only grown stronger and I long to see you again and unite as one. So there is that beautiful wish to reconnect for some of you there. So we finally get some ghostly whispers, whispers of love messages. So we've got healing. I am healing. He wants you to know he's doing his healing right now. We saw that in the tarot. Signs. Pay attention to the signs I send you. So he's sending you signs. So look out for those. Soul family, I am the spiritual father of your ch children. Spirit animals, I send messages through spirit animals. So you may notice various animals, you know, in your life, you know, or if you're looking online or might just pop up in conversation. So they're messages, okay, from your partner. I send messages through numbers, 1111, 222 and many more. So again, these numbers are signs from your Divine Masculine. Ghostly Embrace, I embrace you while you sleep. So he, he loves to come in and hold you in his arms. Presence, can you feel my presence with you? So, you know, he sends his energy over to you. Grief, I need you to be strong right now. So he knows a lot of you are feeling sad and confused over this connection. And he wants you to be strong. Telepathy, I communicate with you telepathically. So he's sending you messages. So open your heart to listen. And healing, please work on your healing. So he wants you to work on your healing too. So that you can both come together when you've done your healing work. Okay, so beautiful messages there. So I hope that resonated. So please like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see you in my next video. Many blessings.